where the fun begins. What's up, guys? My name is Tony, a.k.a. Star Wars Sith, and welcome to another episode of Sith Talk, where we talk Star Wars news, rumors, and coming soons. Today, we have back on the show Noah from the Rogue Nation YouTube channel. How you doing, Noah? Doing great. Here to redeem myself after I was having mic issues the first time around, so... Yeah, you know, I'm just using the normal he- normal headphones this time. Way better than the Beats. You know, for everybody out there, may have been wondering. This is these are what I used last time, and I guess these have a microphone built into them. Did not know that, so that's where my mic was getting picked up. So if you watch me the first time around on this podcast, you're yep. like, yeah, this guy's setup's busted. That's why. So Huge hopefully this is better. Yeah. No, no, you sound amazing. Way better than that first time. So yeah, looking forward to this. Back so. Tell us all a little bit about your channel, what your <clears throat> channel focuses on, and where we can yeah. find you at. So, at No Nation Vlogs, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, I'm on all there basically every day. And then over on the Rogue Nation channel, we're actually putting out technically a bunch of content right now, but it's all old content. So, just the quick backstory. I've had years worth, like 2020, or like t- 2019, 2020, 2021, and even some of last year, yeah. of some miscellaneous Star Wars content on what is now... Uh, reverted back to what it originally was back in 2011, which is my wrestling channel. Learning about YouTube, I realized having all this Star Wars content is kind of hurting my growth on my wrestling channel. So I am one by one privating those videos. I'm just taking the loss with the views. I don't care. And re-uploading them all to my Rogue Nation channel, which is where you guys can find me. So even though it's kind of outdated content, um, it's all going up in order of has as I you know uploaded it. And I'm you know mm-hmm. for some of them putting 2020, 2021. So there is a plethora of of old slash new, if you will, Star Wars videos going up on the Rogue Nation channel. All my videos, and then once we get through those, which is going to be another week or two, I, I still have like two years worth of videos to go through. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and it's not like there was one every day, but like there's still like there was a yeah. bunch of them, unboxings, reviews, collections, all that stuff. So I'm going through all those. Once we get through a week or two of that, um, then there'll finally be some new uh, content with Jedi Survivor coming out in two weeks-ish. Yes, yes. I'll definitely be streaming that, so I'm looking forward to it. Nice. So I'll put the link to his channel down in the description, guys. Definitely check him out for sure. And sure. I was so lost when I started seeing those <laughs> videos because I'm like, damn, he grew his hair out. He got a beard now. Like, that was yeah, quick. Right? Yeah, I was like the, just so the beard confused. comes in quick, but like, yeah, you guys, your I'm hair was long. basically bald over here because yeah. it's way less maintenance now. But yeah, dude, that 2000, like 2019, I probably started throwing up some Star Wars videos because I was collecting stuff. And then just throughout the years, anytime I'd get something to unbox, make a video, a collection, make a video. So just yeah. putting it all out there, it's going to be outdated, but whatever. I'm just, it's, be- it's best for growth. It's best for growth. You got to do what we got to do around here. Exactly. Yeah. So, Everyone that originally comes on for the first time gets a set of three questions, which you've done. But now you're the second person on for the second time, and it's a new set of questions. So yes, I got three new questions. You ready for them? Hit me. So the first one is, who got you into Star Wars? Well, you know what? It's funny. I'll, I'll also be on uh, Sire Speed's Reviews channel tomorrow, and I did a little yeah. backstory here. But I, Star Wars was kind of always in the household. But mm-hmm. being, the, and it's funny because I'm really not a sequels guy, but Disney, Star Wars, or Star Wars, I should say, being back in the limelight in like 2015 kind of made me go back and watch the movies I grew up with and then the originals yeah. again as well. So it kind of, I don't want to say reintroduced me, but it just kind of like was the first time in years I dove in. And mm-hmm. that was kind of the kickoff. So, it, and again, it's funny because I'm really not a fan of, Disney Star Wars and it, and it feels like it just gets worse by the day. Like I'm starting to put my own, <laughs> I'm starting to put my new, like my own head cannon together. Like the yeah, six, the, like episodes one through six in the Clone Wars and then everything else. I'm just gonna make make pretend it's Legends at this point. But it's funny because even though I'm not a big fan, it, it is the what the catalyst was. It was Star Wars is back in the limelight. Everybody yeah. was excited about the Force Awakens and the last Jedi and all that and whatnot. And then that was just like, hey, I'll go back and watch these six and I'll do a Clone Wars rewatch, even though I, I Disney Plus wasn't out at the time, but I had like five of the four of the seasons, I think, on DVD. So I just binged them, and that was yeah. the reintroduction, if you will. Nice. Yeah. So for me, it kind of was like always in the house, too. It was my dad, though. My dad had the VHS yeah, set, the three pack, the VHS three pack set. 
So the whole 90s, I just was watching it on VHS nonstop, and I freaking loved it. And then when The Phantom Menace came out in 99, <clears> seeing <throat> a Star Wars movie in the movie theaters was like, yo, this is so cool. Like, it was yeah. just such a vibe, such a feeling, and it just never stopped from there. Like, it yeah. just never stopped. And I was like, oh, I, what, what month did Phantom Menace come out? May or June? Was I think it, May? it was May. I think it was yeah, May. So yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. five months old. So I didn't I didn't see Phantom Medicine Theaters. I've heard mm. I was there for Attack of the Clones, even though I don't remember. But I yeah. physically remember being <laughs> in the theater, a theater that is no longer there for Revenge of the Sith. So that was like my early days of, of Star Wars. And I remember having a couple three and three quarter figures, but yeah. yeah, I was a little too young to remember. So I actually saw the Phantom Menace. I think it might be somewhere by you. It was at the Nanuet Mall, which I believe is in Jersey. Man, you, I don't think I've heard of it. I'll be honest. It it, it might have a Man. different name now, but it was like in 99. I think it was called the Nanuet Mall. Man. It was some big mall, and I'm pretty sure it was in Jersey because they I'm had go- a – This says Nanuet New York on Google. It was maybe oh, it was... maybe it was, but it was kind my of spelling Jersey. Something. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. But I remember seeing it there in 99 because I was still living in New York, but the other two movies I saw down in Florida. So... Got gotcha. you. Never will forget that, bro. Ever. Yeah, dude. I, I I wish I remembered like Attack of the Clones, like seeing it for the first time, but it was just I was like three, four years old, whatever. Um, but Revenge of the Sith, I physically remember being there. Hell I yeah. remember where I was sitting and seeing Darth Vader be put together. And yes. I told Eric Cyrus Feed Reviews and, and his thing, like I was too young to really put it together before that that Anakin was Darth Vader until I actually saw it. And then I was yeah. like Pfft mind blown yeah (laughs) yeah that's sick that's so sick so the next question is what is your dream star wars project so if you could have anything made whether it's a movie a book a show live action animated like what one thing i want this and and this is how how. much time you got oh we got we got got till 9 p.m because like yeah we could i could sit here and just list like i want this i want that the number you know, one. I, the number I want, one. Man, I guess it's fantasy, no matter what I say. Yeah, yeah. But I just wish George Lucas's sequel trilogy would have got made. Oh, that's a good one. Because, like, you know, Damn. even if Luke and leave, even if they just would have kind of played into the fact that everybody was older, and like, let's say these movies came out the same time the actual sequels did, so everyone was older and they didn't do deep fakes or everything. Yeah, like, yeah. Even if they were all older, old Luke, old Leia, old Han, whatever, like, it still would have been sick. And then just imagine if they de-aged everybody, which I don't know if they really were doing that, you know, almost 10 years ago. But yeah. I just, regardless of the fact, like, I wish that would have gotten made. I wish that, what was the, um, was it a Boba Fett game? What was that called? Like Oh, there it, it was yeah, it was something nine, like a 19 uh, uh, 13 13 13 or 13. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The little bit of stuff that's on that on on social media is really cool. Yeah. Um, a <laughs> Battlefront 3 I wish would get made. Which, oh, I mean, yeah. realistically, there's, like, if we could have any Star Wars game, like we could probably come up with something way cooler than just a Battlefront, but I would just love a upgrade from battlefront 2 with some more maps and more characters like i don't even i'm not that picky i don't need new game modes i just want more maps and more heroes and villains and i would be yeah. set for another five years but those are probably the top things off the top of my head but like there's animated stuff i would love to see you know i'd love to see something whether it's animated or i think well, i guess animated would make the most sense but just what was going on between phantom menace and attack of the clones yeah oh. like what nine ten years there or yeah. something like that. So just like a little animated show, like something like Tales of the Jedi, where it's six, seven episodes, or you can do a whole series. It doesn't matter. Like I think that would be super sick. <sighs> there's, there's a lot. There's yeah. a lot. <laughs> that's that's some good stuff. So I yeah. think uh last week with Andrea, I think I said I wanted oh, I remember what I I said. And I think I might start changing it to what you said about George's sequel trilogy, because that's yeah. Maul. Maul fighting Luke. Like Dude, how when I found out about that story, that I was be? like You've got to be kidding me. This was on the table and it didn't happen. Like, but what insane. I said what I said last week was I want to see probably live action. I would take animated, but live action. I want to see what happened between Darth Maul and Vader in between the end of Clone Wars and in Rebels. Because yeah. last time we saw Maul, the end of Clone Wars, he flew away. Next time we see him, he's hiding in that Sith temple in Rebels. 
And when Vader shows up, he's terrified of Vader and he dips mad quick. <laughs> so obviously there was some sort of confrontation between the two of them for to put right. that fear in them. Like, did they work together? Did he I, try to kill him? Did Vader either try that to or him? Maul? Like, because like I'm I'm currently like slowly. It's not like an every night thing, but I'm just slowly doing a Clone Wars rewatch. And I just watched the um episode uh, with Maul and Palpatine's little fight. And, like, he's super scared of Palpatine then. So, like, maybe just the yeah. thought of Vader or something like that, because Maul yeah, always knew yeah. something bigger was coming. But Or there could have been something. We could just make say there was something. Like, the dude, that would be sick. Been. So I would love to see that. And the whole time in London celebration, I was praying I would just run into Filoni somewhere, like, randomly. <laughs> Please. And, well, you, shit. So I missed Filoni by, like, four minutes in the – the uh, celebration store. So we got oh, in yeah, early on Thursday and I was in line checking out. But if I would have been on the floor for three more minutes, John Fav and Filoni walked in and a bunch of people got pictures with them. So Dude, that's crazy. I would have been like, Dave, real quick. Why was Maul John, what's Vader? the beef? What's yeah, the beef? <laughs> like real quick. So um, I'm hoping one day I, I just run into Filoni and that's going to be, or even Sam Witwer. So he's actually coming yeah. out here to um ocala comic-con in september and mm -hmm. i was gonna go and i'm probably gonna bring something for him to autograph just so i can talk to him and be like so you're freaking maul what do you think is the reason that maul was afraid of vader and to see what he says and i'm gonna try yeah that'd be so, honestly really interesting to see his point you should view, honestly uh, while we're talking you should like be like can you come on my podcast and we'll just ask him live oh yeah bro <laughs> i would love that um yeah we'll see, your shots. we'll see how much time we got with them and then i'll bring my little uh like my little card and my little sift talk sticker because it's mall yeah. on everything be like, oh this is for you and i'll even say that as i'm walking away like hey if you're ever bored and want to come on i would love to have you and maybe he'll scan the qr code he'll be like oh okay listen bro, you crazy just, would you, that you be, think bro? some things will happen and then you just shoot your shot and then they happen so you and never then, know you know what I'll probably do then now that you say that? It, since yeah. it's over two days, maybe I'll get autographs from him twice and tell, say it to him twice. That way it's like, oh, him again. I just wanted to remind oh. you. Yeah. The door is open anytime. <laughs> um, damn. Because I have uh, I got the vintage collection Maul from Clone Wars I can have him sign. I'm yeah. also going to get the Star Killer re-release. So that's even more reason to talk to him to get both of those signed. So and be like, hey, Sam. You're a cool, dude, bro. Let's just talk real quick. <laughs> You're a cool, dude. Yeah. So listen, that'd be sick. I mean, that'd be well. epic. It's gonna be and cool to meet him either way. So yeah, I mean, I met him at Anaheim and took a photo, and in that five seconds, he was just so cool, so nice. Yeah. So yeah, he's always I'll, one of those dudes who, I, anytime I see people met him, like they not he's they got real, nothing man. but positive things yeah. to say, which he, is sick because he's so passionate. It seems like about Star Wars. So yeah, yeah. So I'm. Definitely going to do that at Ocala Comic Con. So maybe in Sick. September, October, maybe you'll see next week on Sift Talk, Sam Witwer. Wow. Oh, dude. You got to re record that and then build it up for a month. Let the anticipation go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, just drop little clips over yeah. The, yeah, here and there. So That'd be sick. Yeah. But that was my project. Now, the next question, this should be a good one for you, too. What character do you want to see either come back from the dead or just more of in general? So who do you want more of? I mean, at this point in, in Disney, you know, anybody can come back from the dead, right? So I don't know, man. Like, I really wish in, in, in Star Wars, because maybe it's just, you know, when we grew up on those first, let's just call it like those first six movies. Yeah. You know, when Qui-Gon was gone, he was gone. You know, like I want people for the most part to just, Stay gone. But if if I had to pick somebody to come anybody. back from the dead, I mean, dude, I don't even know. Like, or it doesn't have to be dead, or just someone that you, you just want to see more so of. just want more of. I mean, like, yeah. I really like or that mole back. idea you had because you could really dive deep into there. Like, yeah. I don't know what's the like the year gap between the end of Clone Wars and and Rebels. Like, I I don't know, but it has to be a few years, right? So like, there's it definitely to time to play with there. There is. There's years. Yeah, yeah. there has to be. I mean, so I mean, maybe Maul, because like, even though we got a bunch of them in Clone Wars, and well, I guess if you're gonna do something with Maul, it'd most likely be animated anyway. Even though you could do something live action, but <sighs> Maul is up there. Mm -hmm. You know, I would love to see, like, since you know they're just doing movies 
you know, here's this movie and here's this yeah. movie and here's this movie, like just like a Darth Vader movie of just, uh, I don't know where you want to place it. Like maybe it's like early, like way before, not way before, but like before New Hope, before Rogue One. Maybe it's like the comics where Vader was hunting down Jedi and they were oh, throwing their lightsabers into yeah, fire, you know, and yeah. they just kind of, I always thought like there's so many comics and awesome material. Like, I don't know why they don't just take some of these and it li- like literally take the Marvel route and just make them into movies, yeah. you know, like that just seems like the obvious thing to do, but maybe That'd Vader, cool. like I, I, I could say Anakin just cause he's my favorite. And I guess I would go into what I said earlier, like the time yeah, between, period between Phantom Menace two. and Attack of the Clones. Because yeah. besides that, you really can't do much with Anakin because it's kind of yep. already been done. So maybe probably one of those three characters, I'd say. Because I think there's, even though some of them might be small time periods, they're beloved characters that you can make compelling stories with. And there's, like I said, a little bit of wiggle room to play with there. So if you could, I mean, why not? You're just doing a little bit of everything right now anyway. So Yeah, so... What I said last week, and I'll still say the same now, and it was random because I just happened to look up and his vintage <coughs> figures right there on the wall. Fives, yeah. bro. I want to see more of fives, bro. Oh, yeah, I love honestly. fives and clone 99. The little humpback deformed clone. Oh, my God. Bro, that man was so brave and has so much heart. Dude, I yeah, how many, how many shots did he take to the back on that episode, bro, dude? They blew yeah. him up, basically. And he had oh. no fear. He came in with the with the thermal detonator with the <laughs> weapons ready to go. Yeah, that was, oh man, that's a legendary episode. That honestly, yeah. besides people making him into a meme, doesn't get enough love. Yeah, <laughs> just exactly. be, but because of him. Exactly. Honestly, there is some clones though. Like you can go throughout all Clone Wars and just pick this one, pick this one, pick this yeah. one, and just it doesn't have to yeah. be long drawn out series. But like a Tales of the Jedi, like here's two episodes of on this clones. one, three yeah. on them. You know, like that'd be like, pretty cool. Like Tales Mayday, of the clones. bro. I would love Mayday. Like Mayday from Bad Batch. Yeah. Mayday was so dope. He yeah. Died too you, quick. Even if it was just like, yo, here's a Captain Rex mission for two episodes. Hell you yeah. You know, whatever. Man. I don't know. Like if you have, if you can, I mean, you're just trying to make content, right? That people are gonna enjoy. Can't say people won't eat it up. I know. I'm super hyped for <clears> that <throat> Tales of the Jedi season two. Yeah. So I wish they would have announced who's it gonna who's it specifically gonna be I on, but I guess we got time, so they're gonna save that. Yeah. So those were the three questions. So good, good choices, good answers. I like that. All right. All right. A little bit different than the the first questions for sure. Yeah. So now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes celebration news and announcements, and it was a lot. So I want to know from you. How, yes. Like, how did you get all the information? Like, were you watching YouTube? Were you watching Instagram? And then, like, what did you think and feel each day as you you were getting these informations from your perspective from seeing stuff released online? So, just in overall things, I'm sure we'll go more specific into some of the announcements. Yeah. Yep, like, yep. I wasn't really watching a lot of the live streams. Like, I was more just getting my info online, and then uh-huh. I was just watching, you know, some of our mutual favorite YouTubers, um, like later, like their videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I'm kind of like at this point where like they announced um the Dave Filoni movie, and I was like, oh, sick! That's gonna be awesome. Obviously, yeah. Ahsoka was like insane. That's gonna be great. Yeah. So I'm not like when I say this, I'm not like putting it in a damper. But I was just like, all right, hoping for the best. Like that, I feel like that's all I can do with these announcements at this point. Yeah. Like, how much stuff has come out over the last few years? Like Kenobi, Book of Boba, Hell, Mando season three things i was very much excited for and then i was just like oh yeah that's what happened so like i'm I'm trying not to get my excitement too high anymore but also trying to be optimistic at the same time i'm just like i i feel like we kind of know what to expect from disney at this point and yeah i don't know how much is really going to change but again i'm still looking forward to certain things like the dave filoni movie is very interesting we'll see how that ends up with all the mando verse stuff yeah and then ahsoka is obviously going to be sick and just to throw this out there, and you might have had this in your notes, I saw earlier today, I don't know who reported it, but it was like Ahsoka, uh, the Ahsoka series, if it does well, will get greenlit for a second season. Yeah, and I was bro. like, first off, didn't Andor get greenlit for a second season before that show even came out? I feel like yeah. we got a little unbalanced here. We're just, we're going to wait on Ahsoka. What? You know yeah. it's going to do well. Let's go. Let's and go. That- chop, chop. That Ahsoka trailer had like 10 million views, which was like ridiculous. Like, yeah, it wasn't like crazy. trending on YouTube and yeah, whatever. So, yeah, it's a hundred percent gonna get a second season. That should go 
four or five. Bro, that's just more Rebels. That's Rebel Season 5, Rebel Season yeah. 6. Like, just... It's just so, like what people said with the Bad Batch. I was like, this isn't the Bad Batch. This is Clone Wars Season 8. So it's just like, yeah, yeah. keep going. So we'll, we'll start deep diving into everything. Um, where is it at? <clears throat> but that's pretty much you just were just watching like youtube and little things yeah i was there, just right? kind of keeping up with like uh you know i was seeing news on twitter and then i'd see it on instagram and i was just watching like other people's videos and whatnot i didn't watch any like the actual uh live streams i would watch like clips and stuff and, and yeah. a couple interviews but nothing crazy i love the one minute little clip that was out there of hayden he was getting a little emotional on stage oh, finally getting all this stage. admiration yeah, i was like yeah bro. good for him dude Bro. That was like my favorite thing of all celebration. Like just him getting his flowers was sick. Bro, and I, I was sitting in the front row at the Kenobi panel. Dude, he was like five feet in front of me. I was, just, sick, I was just staring at Hayden and Hewan and just they were showing us their favorite clips from the Kenobi show. And like yeah. we were watching it. And like, of course, one of them was that fight. And like seeing on a giant screen with 4,500 people in the room, and Hayden and Hugh in five feet from me, the epic delivery of those lines so where awesome. it's all my fault, Anakin. I'm sorry. And he's like, you didn't kill Anakin. I did. Like, bro. That's and so then awesome. When the lights came back on, they were hugging each other on the stage, bro. Like, the love. Oh, I'm getting <laughs> goosebumps right now thinking about it. That's so cool. Did you? I'm, well, I mean, you were there. But uh, the clip of, uh, I forget her name, but the actress, uh, the actress for, yeah, for Little Leia. And she was talking about the... Under the clothes the scene, bro, I was like, "That's died. hilarious!" How she even called it out. We died. I think I have that on video. <laughs> she, I was so impressed by her. She, like, watch more of her talking while on that live panel. That whole panel yeah. was streamed, bro. She is straight up an adult. I was so shocked, like her vocabulary, how she like carried yeah. herself. Like she was just so smooth and fluid. Like she felt like she was a grown ass woman. Like it was good crazy. for her. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> awesome. She did such a good job. Like I have so much more. I always liked her in the show, but like I have more respect for her. Like the way she carries herself. And she's what? Like 10, 11. Something like, like that. Like super. Bro, yeah. When I was that old, I'm playing Game Boy, like catching Pokemon. Like, like she's, <laughs> dude, she's, she's playing with action like, figures every yeah. day. Yeah. It was so crazy, but yeah, man, that was dope. Um, when Hayden was on the live stage in the other room, yeah, they, bro, they just they just gave him and Hugh and so much love, and like they deserve it, man. They freaking deserve it, bro. It's crazy, so yeah, crazy, for sure. So we did get a lot of news, so we're gonna go one by one. I got a couple little articles here. I'm gonna bring up. So the first thing we're gonna start off is with Ahsoka, bro. So. Like you said, the Ahsoka trailer was insane, right? So we yes, got sir. that on Friday. Yeah. Now, I'm going to flex a little bit here on you. So <laughs> on Saturday, we got a second Ahsoka trailer. I heard. I heard. And yeah. it destroyed the first trailer. Like, So how much... All I heard from the second one was that it showed Sabine with a lightsaber fighting whatever her uh, Shin, face is Shin. Shin, so, yeah so well it that's was really... all i heard from that second extended trailer so basically there was two major things in the trailer that kind of blew us away and i was like shocked like mind blown emoji in real life in real time yeah so <laughs> the first thing we got was um you know how in the trailer you see Thrawn, but from the back walking away oh yeah and then didn't they show us because that screenshots everywhere so we saw face. we we got to see him walking up and we saw him straight up that was the official reveal that it was Lars yeah. and I, bro I tell you he looked amazing and terrifying and his red <laughs> his red eyes was yeah. like yo piercing into my soul so that was great having that solid confirmation like holy shit it's Lars like it's the voice of Thrawn is Thrawn so it's that was like smart a, decision a, that was a big reveal. And then the next thing we see Sabine's in a room, she's digging through a box and she picks up Ezra Saber and we're like, oh, cool. And then it cuts to her <laughs> across from that Shin girl yeah. and Sabine lights it up, the green saber, Shin lights up her red saber and they just start fighting. And yeah. I'm like, and yo. Is, isn't everybody rumoring that that's a Kanan saber? So if you look at it, the original trailer in slow, it kind of looks like it's Kanan's hilt. 
which is even more iconic and meaningful because it's like both the master and apprentice sabers yeah. are fighting each other and but neither one of them. them are there yeah, yeah. So and that, <laughs> I like how and, they showed everybody real. I mean, not that they would, but like showed everybody real cl clear in the trailer. And then all we got of Ezra was the little hologram. Like, yeah, we yeah, laid on him. <laughs> they yeah. touched him off. Not that yeah. they would, like there was a reason to. I'm just saying it was funny. Yeah, they. I guess they got to save something because they gave us Thrawn. They gave exactly. us Sabine in the armor. We saw Hera for the first time, which you guys saw that too. But just that lightsaber yeah. battle, bro. That trailer, so that trailer crazy. was like one of those things that showed you so much, yet showed you so showed you so little. Yeah. If that makes yeah. sense, like you finally kind of saw everybody in live action. Obviously, there was more in the extended one. Um, you saw who some of these antagonists might be. They gave you a little clip. Looked like we saw live action world between worlds, possibly, which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, like it really didn't give you much to dive into. If that makes sense, like you still don't. Yep no to like it's one of those situations where like everything we saw could have easily been the first two episodes of what's our six seven episodes of ahsoka i so, think it's like, eight i think it's eight. Oh, sweet I sweet it's eight so yeah i wish so i don't know more. how much more they showed in that extended cut but, like i feel like we haven't seen anything yet which is great the extended cut was just a lot of the same stuff maybe a little bit from different angles but the biggest thing yeah. was just sabine lightsaber fight thrown up yeah. front up close and it like was like five seconds like you saw him <laughs> and like it stopped on him and the whole crowd went nuts but it's sick. i think the craziest thing and it's actually in the article so we we watch it everybody's hyped as shit right and then literally um they asked dave they're like hey so <clears throat> is that lars playing thrown and dave's like um why don't we just bring him out and we're like what <laughs> And he just said it like that, and then all of a sudden, this happened. Lars walked <laughs> so out casual. on stage, and, I, and awesome. everybody went nuts. And then nice. he, ta he talked a little bit in the Thrawn voice, and we were just blown away, bro. So, That's so awesome. Yeah, That's this, cool. I just left it for the surprise. Yeah, yeah, because it was the end of the panel, and we didn't think we were going to get anything. And then they showed us that trailer. They're like, it's, it's remixed and special for you guys. Don't record. <laughs> even though some people illegally recorded right and as soon as it finished this man walked out and we just went nuts bro that's so, so cool. that's so yeah cool. ahsoka's gonna be great man uh, uh, yeah ahsoka is, is gonna be probably the best thing that disney star wars has done i period i mean like listen it it, it, it would it was originally gonna rival mando but after this season like if we're talking oh, it's, overall it's destroying mando it's gonna yeah it's gonna, <laughs> so yeah, it's going to destroy if, – if season three of Mando would have been solid, it would have been close. Then you it had, had competition. Seasons. Yeah, there's no competition now. Ahsoka yeah. wins. Like, that's it. And not for and nothing, but already looking at the Ahsoka trailer, and obviously we already knew this, but, like, Ahsoka just – it has lightsabers and it has the Force. Like, it just – so it feels more like Star Wars. So it already is like, all right, this is ten times better than Andor. This time's better than anything. So, like, yeah. find me up. <laughs> yep. So this is fire, and we still haven't seen Ezra yet. So – yeah that's sick but now that probably had me the most hype from celebration but honestly this next thing we're gonna get into as of friday i was more hyped for this next thing than ahsoka and that says a lot but after saturday getting that extra teaser with ron and sabine yeah. it pushed ahsoka above it but yo i am beyond hyped for the accolade show so I honestly they, didn't see much about this. No, they didn't release it. So they they yeah. didn't release nothing. So we got a trailer. We got a teaser trailer for it. And let me tell you, it was just as good, if not better, than that first Ahsoka trailer. It was the same so, level, uh, yeah. same level of, of like craziness as that Ahsoka trailer was. All I saw was that obviously somebody leaked it online, and then that's obviously gotten pulled down by now. So I, got, I, I got pulled looking down. for it. Yeah, yeah, real fast, but I saw positive outlooks on it. And, like, that's good to know because everybody was already kind of positive on the rumors of this show. So now just getting a little confirmation, like, here's the first look. And it looks just as good as we were saying. Um, it, it's positive, like I said, because we still don't have much to dive into with that show besides, what, a couple, like, uh, set pictures and, and whatnot yeah. that have, have come out. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, too. What's That's, uh, like, a 2024 release, I believe, correct? Like, I don't yeah, even know if that's 2024 – and so that panel, that was part of the Lucasfilm panel. So the the director, the, the whatever, the, the lady that's doing it, Leslie Headland, I think her name is or something like that. Mm -hmm. 
she walked out on stage with the Wookiee Jedi. So we seen him. We're like, yo, he's right <laughs> there. Sick. So they came out and she like, I don't know. I didn't know a thing about her, but like I kind of heard like positive, negative things. You know how the Internet is. Everyone's like yeah. mad at everybody. But I, I, don't, I don't judge nothing because like I don't know her. But like when she came out and she told us like her story and how she grew up, like she's a legit fan. Like she grew up with the with the OG trilogy. Right. Mm-hmm. In the 90s, she grew up with the expanded universe books. When Phantom Menace came out, she loved it. She grew up with the prequels. So like her background Good. and everything that she did to prepare for the show, she was trying to do it for George. Like she kept mentioning she was inspired by George Lucas, which was good to hear. Yeah. She was inspired by everything. George was inspired by, by like Westerns, the samurai, yeah. the Kurosawa type stuff, like all that type stuff that inspired George mm-hmm. is what she took inspiration. And I'm like, okay, this all sounds good. Yeah. And which at the is... end of... Go ahead. Yeah. And at the end of it, like later on in the day, I was like, this is kind of a bold thing for me to even think of. But she might might now she's not gonna be, but she might be like a female felonious kind of. Now no one can be felony because yeah. felony's felony. Right. She worked with the master, but like the way she talked and like how her head is, it's kind of like she has that love and that detail, kind of like how felony does. Yeah. So which yeah. is great. Listen, we need more people like that in Star Wars because how many people have literally openly come out that have worked on these shows, whether they're actors, actresses, or just people who have produced this, that, and the other for Star Wars series and, of course, the movies, I mean, the sequel trilogy. Like, how many people have come out and basically said they never watched Star Wars before, they didn't yep. know anything about Star Wars, yep. or, in my opinion, probably the worst, th- well, I don't even want to say the worst thing, but just I don't like when people come in and they're like, I'm, I'm going to make my version of Star Wars or my yeah, version yeah, of this yeah. character. Like, yeah, this is Star Wars. You're coming in to add on to it, not create your own. So, like, I love what hearing that because we need more people like that. Like, yeah, I want to add on to George Lucas's, you know, uh, legacy. I want to do this by him and, and, and whatnot. I was a fan of him. Like, we need more of that. We need more people like Dave and, and this, this, that, and the other because that's what's ultimately going to make Star Wars the best it can be these days after – you know, unfortunately, so many people have come in and out. Uh, you know, there's been rumors of this person making a movie and that person. And yeah. for whatever reason, things just don't pan out. So I would love for more people who actually know Star Wars and actually like Star Wars, whether they grew up on it or not, and just a fan and have knowledge of it, to come in and be like, how can I make this better? So hearing that and hearing all the positive talk about this show so far, which has had very little information out there because it's just not that time yet, is good to know because, again, we just we need more stuff like that. Yeah, and another thing that um, so she did an interview on the live stage later in the day, but like I watched that and she didn't hit as much detail as she did in the in the panel. Mm-hmm. So she said a lot more in the panel, and it made me feel like confident and good. And I'm pretty picky with things, right? But like I feel really really good about it. And the best thing that she said was she wanted to make a show that was from the point of view of the villains, is what she yeah. said, which, which is, is sick. sick. Because we never yeah. really got that for the most part. Like, yeah. So, so that's really good to know. And like, I, I think that's something that's been like rumored for this show. So it's nice to get that confirmation too. Yeah, man. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. Mm-hmm. So that was the Acolyte. So that should be a solid thing, bro, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. That should be a good show next year. Next thing, uh, Bad Bat. So we got a teaser trailer, bro, for Bad <laughs> Batch season three, which I didn't expect because, like, one, I didn't know they were doing it. So I'm like, they can't have that much done, bro. Yeah. They showed us a ton in that teaser trailer. It looks super dark, super gritty, super like, like, it doesn't look like there's going to be much filler. So this was one thing that really? was revealed in the trailer <laughs> yeah. is wolves in it. Commander Sick. Wolf's in it. So we saw that. That was hyped. Also, oh, they don't have a picture. Fennec is in it too. So we saw Fennec. Nice. We saw Wolf. We seen there was just, bro, it's more stuff in Mount Tantis. You see Omega looks older. Her hair looks longer. I think it was a little bit. She's there. She sees Crosshair. And she's trying to like, hey, Crosshair, like, we're going to get out of here. And Crosshair's yeah. like, like, no, we're not. Like, I'm not like the others. Like, nice. <laughs> so it looks like it's gonna be dark and gloomy. Yeah. And they said it's the final season. So 
Makes People sense. People are probably going to die, man. Yeah, I mean, listen, Bad Batch season one and two, a little bit hot and cold, but for the most yeah, yeah, part, yeah. I'm positive about it. I, yep. As I've yep. talked about on podcasts and all of our live streams in the past, like my perspective for animated shows versus live action is a little bit different. Yeah, I can yeah. put up with filler more on an animated show that's got 16 yep. episodes in the season, more than a Mando that has eight, let's just say. Um, even though some of them drag and this, that, and the other. But obviously, Bad Batch ended pretty hot. S- same thing with season one. Like, I felt the same way. Positive coming out of it. Feel the same way coming out of season two. So I'm pumped for season three. And it makes sense that this is going to be the last one. Like, I wasn't... Not that I really had it in my mind. Like, oh, this is going to go six or seven seasons. But I, I don't see the reason for it to go that long. Um, I Definitely somebody's going to die, dude. And I think my loose prediction far out is going to be the same thing I said um like that i was thinking i should say in season one and that's vader's got to show up and you know pull up that youngling slinger 3000 you know or whatever you want to call it but i don't know who's gonna fall man i think crosshair will probably be on that list you know sacrificing himself i i i can't see all of them dying in one shot right so like i don't know dude it's gonna be crazy though that's 2024 they said as well um, I think so. I think, well, yeah, I hope it, so. you know what? It, it has to be because, bro, they had, we, there was a lot, there was so much in that teaser. I'm like, yo, they got to be like half done with it. So it, it's probably yeah. going to be 2024. So we'll probably, it, 2024 man. should be Acolyte, uh, this, and I don't know what else because I think we're still getting a Skeleton Crew this year. So that's, that's, I don't, I haven't do- dove too much into Skeleton Crew. Uh, not to branch off, but like if that's coming this year, I feel like we haven't heard that much about it. Yeah, we got like, from uh, them themselves, not including leaks and stuff. Yeah, at the um, we're gonna get into that in a couple more articles, but we did get a trailer for it. Not gonna lie, I forgot what was in it because like my <laughs> my my brain and memory yeah. is like Ahsoka and Acolyte. That stuff just blew me away. Now I do remember seeing it. And I'm like, okay. This looks fun. This looks cool. This looks like it should be decent. It should be enjoyable. I just forgot what was in it, bro. Because there was Listen, so, like, much, so much in my mind from that weekend. Yeah, man. There's, there's so much big, bigger name stuff coming out on the horizon, whether you like the people or not. Mando, Ahsoka, Dave Filoni verse, Ray movie, all this stuff. Like, regardless of our opinions of these characters or what, like, there's just a lot of bigger name stuff coming out. So a show like Skeleton Crew, which I'm sure you know, some notable names might pop up into, but it's probably yeah. going to be a little bit less of excitement until the show actually comes out and hopefully surprise some people, even though I haven't really heard anything negative as well towards that show. It sounds like it's going to be fun for the most part, but yeah. I don't know, it remains yeah. to be seen. I just hope it feels like Star Wars. I can't do another show that feels like Andor. I'll tell you that right now. Bro, I saw the trailer. Now that I think of it, it, it feels like Star Wars because it's, like okay, it's like four little kids and they, they like escape and they like steal a ship. And like their parents are trying to find them and they're flying away and they're not answering the comms. And then Jude Law's character like meets up with them and he's a Jedi using the force. Sick. All right, so, cool. Yeah, it's it's gonna be like Stranger Things, but in but in outer space. And he's a Jedi. Ahsoka is rumored to be in it, like confirmed type stuff. Cool. And I think the storyline <laughs> connects to Mando season four, allegedly. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see yeah. that. We'll get... season four is going to be uh, interesting to see on yeah. whatever. Ha- God only knows it's going to happen next week. So, yeah. But the next thing I want to get into is the movies piece. So they so KK was out there. So she was she was there. I mean, it is what it is. Of course, she's going to be there. Yeah. But she put this on the screen and I see a lot of people on the Internet breaking this down and kind of thinking and assuming that we're getting all this. So the, yeah. the the misconception is this isn't stuff that we're getting. This is this literally the timeline. It's the timeline. Yeah. So so I, I saw a lot of people like, oh, we're getting old republic, we're getting this, we're getting that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. She was yeah. just showing us the current timeline of lore and then explaining where her three movies are fitting in. Right. So so this came up, and then she, the first thing she told us was the dawn of the jedi is going to be before the old republic and it's going to be a movie about the first jedi so we'll start there that i heard good. that that sounds sick and like the yeah. director was there and i'm like i don't know who the hell this dude is but a couple of days later i found out who he is you know what he directed what is that 
Bro, he directed Logan. You saw the Logan movie? No. <laughs> Yo. Go Wait, watch Logan. hold on. When did that come out? Oh, well, I, oh, I forgot what year, but it's the rated R Wolverine movie. That I'll was tell you right now. amazing. Homie. So go check out that movie. 2017? Yeah. So, I might have saw this in theaters. It's no, it was. But bad I forget. <laughs> it's, it's with Wolverine and Professor X, yeah. mad old, and then he dies. Spoiler, sorry, but you're late. It's been and five then, years. And then the little girl in there is basically like Wolverine's daughter, kind of, because she has the claws too. She's X twenty three, or I think they call her X twenty four. So that movie was fire. It was like the <laughs> first. It was like the first rated R Marvel movie, like gotcha. superhero movie. And people didn't think it would do good. I'm pretty sure it did a billion. Like it was fire. But knowing that it's Sick. him, like, like, so the movie is like very gritty and it's rated R. Like you see Wolverine cut people's limbs off. There's blood. Like, so, so you know, we might be getting something similar to like that in the Star Wars. Or... It'll be savage, yeah. So I felt good sure. about I felt good about that. So Dawn of the Jedi, the first Jedi, like it wasn't uh this is very loose, just fan rumors, but a lot of people are saying we might get Darth Revan in there. Oh, just but as a rumor. I would take it, bro. Yeah, I would, you know. bro. If they bring any of those old Republic dudes in there or any, like, ties, I, bro, yeah. I'll, I'll take it in a heartbeat. Yeah, I'd be down. What else we got, dude? So then the next one she announced, Dave Filoni. So Dave Filoni was on stage. Boy, we went nuts when she said he's getting a movie. <laughs> All 4,500 people in there were screaming at the top of the lungs. Finally! <laughs> so his movie takes place between Age of the Rebellion and the First Order, so the New right. Republic. So clearly, Mandoverse movie. Clearly, it's going to be the end game where Thrawn is um, Thanos, and it should be Mando, Grogu, Ahsoka, probably Sabine and the Ghost Crew, it should be Luke too. We might I was about get to say, Luke. We need Luke, man. You can't go heir to the Empire and not feature Luke in any way. And she freaking said heir to the Empire in the trailer. Like when yeah. she said that, the reaction of the audience went buck wild. It's like <laughs> she said heir That's to sick. the Empire. So that listen, movie, and they could easily just be like kind of rewriting their own heir to the Empire with Ahsoka, fine. but you can't not have Luke, especially because he's in. He's alive in your timeline yeah. that we're messing with here. So why wouldn't he show up? So listen, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Dave movie, man. I know originally it was, hey, it's going to be six to seven years away. But then literally this week, it's rumored that it might come out in 2026. So yes. like, God only knows what's going to be going on. But I mean, listen, we're probably going to get Mando 4. We'll get probably an Ahsoka 2. Yep. And then I'm just going to hope for the best. And, I, and listen, if we were talking about this, Two months ago, before Mando season three started, I'd be way more excited. But I'm just yeah. nervous at this point because I don't know what the hell's going on with Mandalorian season three. And like, I have <laughs> my suspicions that Din Djarin may not be around by the time we get to this Dave Filoni movie. Yeah, and that's gonna yeah, yeah. that's gonna suck because yep. he kicked off this whole Filoni verse, if you will. Yeah, well, and obviously if we're not including Rebels, but just like live action stuff. And then for him not to be on the big screen. And we're just rumoring here. I mean, he might be yeah, yeah. the main guy, but that's a potential. And like I will say, this season of Mando kind of hindered my excitement for overall Mando verse stuff. At the same time, looking at there's more positives than negatives. It's Dave Filoni. We have Ahsoka yeah, involved with Ahsoka it's coming out. Yeah, Luke is Luke will hopefully be involved. It's thrown in live action, which God, like how long we've been asking for that. So like, yeah. there's a lot more positives, and especially if this comes out in 2026 potentially i don't want them to rush it i want them to take their time and make no, magic yeah yeah and if anything like <laughs> i would rather just not do a mando 4 and an ahsoka 2 but just have a mando movie after season three and an ahsoka movie yeah. and a luke movie and then all those you know lead into this dave filoni movie like very marvel-esque like everybody's got their individual movies until it leads into an avengers but yeah. that's probably that's obviously not going to happen. So I'll take it what we can get, and I'm optimistic, man. Hopefully, it's the best movie that this, uh, Disney Star Wars has produced right now. I would say it's Rogue One, in just my personal opinion. But that 100%. can easily, but that can yeah. easily be topped because like Rogue One's great, but like you got Ahsoka, Luke, Mando, Grogu, uh, you know, Bo, Thrawn, his army. Like there's so much more potential there for fun stuff. So uh, hopefully, this is going to be sick, man. It's definitely yeah. my. 
uh, I mean, it's obviously Ahsoka was sick, but just talking brand new stuff. Like, obviously, we knew Ahsoka was coming. Like, brand new reveals from last weekend. Like, I, I guess I'd say it's probably my most anticipated thing, not yeah. including Ahsoka. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. And I, I have some theories about Mano Season 3, but we'll save that for tonight because that's, yeah. that's a long, 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 long. So, so we got the Dawn of the Jedi movie, Filoni movie, and then the last movie... So it's the director that directed an episode of like the Miss Marvel show, which doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Now, Miss Marvel, to be <laughs> fair, I watched Miss Marvel. It's not that bad of a show compared to the other Marvel Disney Plus shows. Did you watch Miss Marvel? No, nah, dude, I, I'm not a Marvel guy. Oh, like, okay, okay. So like I've I, seen all the Avengers movies and a handful yeah, yeah, of yeah, other yeah, ones, yeah. but that's it. So the Miss Marvel show wasn't that that bad. It was decent. Compared to some of the other ones, which were kind of like, oh, I'm never watching that again. So yeah. there's a, a, a smidge of confidence, but it's called the, it's going to be the new Jedi Order. And I think that was the David Lindelof movie that was he was supposedly right. writing, whatever, whatever. But yeah, they, uh, that KK just denied was a thing or yeah, however it, she put it was just like, oh, that was just a rumor. Like, OK, yeah. So, a lot no, of her no, other source said material that, uh, says you're wrong, but we'll go with your word. <laughs> no, she said that about um the Kevin Feige movie. Which, oh, yeah. Yeah, which that makes no sense because she literally came on stage in 2019 somewhere and, and said Kevin Feige. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, that, that doesn't add up, but I don't want to waste breath on KK. No, 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 yeah. no. Just because like that, she <sighs> literally, like there's videos of her saying that. But, <laughs> like... but yeah, so the new Jedi Order and then Daisy came out on stage, bro. So it's very mixed feelings. I well, Tony, thanks for having me on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, from what I heard of what the movie originally might have been, that Daisy would have just been like a side character. That she's not the main character. It's not like a a Ray movie is what everyone thinks and assumed. Because mm -hmm. supposedly the, from the script that was written. There's two new leads, and they're the main characters. And supposedly, Ray was going to make a cameo. So it could be that maybe they're just they're going somewhere, and Ray's training a bunch of Jedi, and they go there, and, and whatever, whatever. Yeah. I, I don't know how to feel, man. Like, whether Ray's the lead, or she's just like a Luke to a new character, if you will, like Last Jedi Luke, not Prime Luke. Yeah, like yeah. regardless of her position, and I listen, it's nothing against da Daisy Ridley, great actress. She plays the role of Ray fine, it's not her, yeah, you know, like it's nothing against Daisy Ridley, but I just can't get excited about Ray, dude. Like, I'm sorry, like, and anything yeah. regarding the sequels, and I want to be excited, that's the thing, like, I don't want to be negative, but like, I just can't do it, like, I can't do it, like. I'm not gonna say you're an act like I'm not gonna go see the movie because of course I'm of course. gonna go see the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I'm also and I'm also not gonna be going in like this either. Like, impress me. Like, I'm not gonna go in there. I'm gonna go yeah. in with an open mind. But at the same time, like, I just we could have just left this all in the past. You know what I mean? And I feel like we're Disney and Lucasfilm are possibly just setting themselves up for disaster again by following in their own footsteps. Yeah, and again, go ahead. Especially with this being the first movie, like, wouldn't you want to make that the third? Like, and, like and you're do... coming, yeah, right back into theaters. Like, you have not been there since 2019 with the end of the sequels. Everyone's been wondering, where's the movies? Where's the movies? So, yeah, even though, and uh, this movie's been rumored, this movie's been canceled. We get three movies announced. Hopefully, they all happen, including this one. Like, oh, I want to see it happen. Yeah, and this is the one you're going to kick off with. Like, does that not seem like a boneheaded decision, or is it just like us fans? Like, I don't know. Listen, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm just, and I'm yeah. not getting my hopes up. I'm just going to go in like, all right, let's see what happens. Like I said earlier, like I'm at the point, especially after this season with Mando, and I'm still very much excited for the Filoni verse and his movie and all that stuff. But I'm starting to get to the mental headspace of like. Episode one through six and the Clone Wars is my own canon and everything else is just like my own legends. Because yeah. at least at that point, I won't get so infuriated, if that makes sense. Like, I'm still a year, almost a year later and I'm still trying to figure out how Reva survived two lightsaber stabs with a gullet. Oh. Like, I don't, like, it doesn't make sense. 
So, and I know that has nothing to do with Daisy Ridley or Wright, but it just all ties into Disney. But I don't know, man. Like, I hope for the best. You know, people are rumoring that they might bring back Ben Solo from the dead, which, okay. I thought he died, but okay. Yeah. He's coming back. Everyone can come back, evidently. You know, one's ever really gone, just like Luke said in his in The Last Jedi. So, so I don't know, dude. I, yeah, I don't understand why that's first. Like, you figured you'd be safe and make that third because you don't want the first one to bomb. And, like, I mean, the Dawn of the Jedi sounds crazy. Like, why not do that, then Filoni, then do the... Yeah, uh, just go in order, a timeline. Yeah, to, to, you know, spice it up. But the only thing, like, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to give it a chance. Of course, I'm mm-hmm. going to go watch it. But there's just one thing that I... I don't want them to call to say Ray Skywalker because that just kind of just irks me. And it's not Listen, like I don't you'll, want you'll so almost the, uh, ahead so, of time, uh, like do one good by the fans by just not acknowledging it. Because because what's going to make me upset is if she's at this new Jedi order and these younglings go Master Skywalker. Because Master Skywalker is Anakin and Luke in my mind, heart and soul. Right. I just it would just be weird if younglings went up to Ray and said, Master Skywalker, there's yeah. too many of them. What are we gonna do? <laughs> like it's just it's like a just, complete <sighs> remake. Oh god. Yeah, so I don't I just that's the one thing, like, bro, just just call her Ray. I like it'd be cool if they said that and if she was like, just call me Master Ray or something like that. Just, but like just I, don't even acknowledge it. You know, yeah, so don't even acknowledge so it. So we'll we'll see, but like I have a feeling it might do like semi okay, but get a lot of hate. But then if Filoni drops in 2026, he's gonna like double or triple its numbers, and then they're gonna be like, Oh, yeah. let's let's give the keys to Dave. Cause Dude, like what are we doing? Mando in theaters, like CGI deep fake young Luke in theaters, like and Han and Leia, there was remember there's yeah. rumors that Han and Leia are coming back for something, something, something for the longest. Yeah. Like what if it's in there? Because aren't they part of the Heir of the Empire story too? Like I'm I pretty think sure. I'm, my knowledge isn't like super on point yeah. with that, but I'm pretty sure. And like not for nothing, but like we also got Book of like Book of Boba Fett in this Mandoverse timeline. So like you have those characters. Oh, we'll get Boba and Han screen. and Leia. Like that's why I really like I really wish, man, like after Mando season one and two, they just realized like, oh, let's just create like the sequels can still be there. They were never going to retcon them, but there's yeah, so yeah, much yeah. time that they can do 15 years of Star Wars story yes. in. All right. So we'll do Mando. Season, then we'll do this. And everybody can almost get their own movie and you can Cat really Bane. tell a long story. Yeah. And like have that like 10 year mcu where it starts off what was the first like it was just the first iron man, iron man. Was the first one yeah like and it starts with you know instead of mando 3 we're hypothetically speaking it's the follow-up to mando season 2 is in theaters it's the mandalorian movie and then the next 10 years is the long build-up the ahsoka movie the this the that heir to the empire Yo. and then we get that avenger star wars movie imagine how sick that would be dude i want so bad Chopper, a murder story. <laughs> so bad movie. <laughs> That's the movie. That, that uh, and then of course uh, Darth Jar Jar. You know he's got to yeah, make a comeback. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this. Uh, I hope we get a ton of Chopper in the Ahsoka show. I want him talking all the time. I want him yeah. stealing. We didn't mention him earlier. Want, we just we went right over. Yeah. The disrespect. There, there was only a little <laughs> bit of him in the trailer. He's like in the side of the thing with yeah. his arms out. So they didn't show much. I think they're just saving him for the show. Because they know we're gonna love him, and every piece of merch <laughs> with Chopper on it, I'm buying every. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna promote buy. him like Grogu, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thank you. Look, just looking forward to the new pops. Yes, bro. The Rebels yes, Ahsoka pops. Yes. So the last thing we had there was Skeleton Crew. So mm-hmm. we kind of talked on it earlier, but we got oh, a seaweed trailer. man. Oh, uh, he wasn't in the trailer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's dead. But yeah. this guy, this guy right here in the middle, what's his name? Vaughn? Was that his name? Vaughn? Uh, Vane? Vane? Yeah. Vane? I think. Yeah. He was in the trailer. He was in the trailer for Skeleton Crew. So that well, that tells you he's there. not dead. Well, I guess we knew that, but no. But he was in a separate ship. He wasn't in the main ship that yeah. Blackbeard. Blew yeah, up he was in. the one who was just like, "I'm out." Yeah, and then, yeah. yeah he seaweed dipped. guy just so, went down with the ship like a real pirate. 
he, he's <laughs> in it, but you can see here's like a screenshot from there. Like it's four kids. Yeah. It's and Jude Law's the Jedi. Is that the only shot that they had? Yeah. So I mean, I'm sure it'll be cool. It'll be better than Andor. Yeah. Um it's pro- <laughs> It might that ain't be hard, hard to beat. It might be better than Mando season three because Mando season three has been so inconsistent, man. Dude, you know what's funny? I know we're going to talk about it tonight, so I won't dive too deep into it. But, yeah. And for anyone watching this tomorrow, uh, we're talking about last night Mando talk. Go watch the replay. Yeah. But like, I and I told my dad this. We were talking about this morning. I was like, if this epi- episode, meaning uh, Wednesday's episode, happens, like episode three or four make it make sense obviously with the story i feel like i would have been way more intrigued and excited about it and at first i was like damn it's a really good episode then i started thinking about yeah. it and i was just like i'm having a re-. like at this point i'm just like almost ready for the season to end and that sucks yeah. but like i just i'm just not into it the finale has to be like mind-blowing makes sense and what we want to salvage it oh. to be like it to be an okay season with some like- of these rumors man and the, the rumors aren't this is what's going to happen. The rumors are it's going to divide the fan base and this. Yeah. Is gonna, these people are going to be heartbroken. This is going to yeah, be upset. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, Din's got to die or he's not going to die. But like some something that's just going to make him look pathetic is going to happen. Bo's going to save him for the 17th time this season. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, and not, yeah, again, we're not, not to get too deep into it, but I don't know what happened this season, man. I don't know. Not trying to be a hater, but I call how I see it. So I think that's pretty much all all the celebration news in a nutshell. I'm trying yeah. to think if there's anything else. Oh, so we did get an Andor season two teaser. And I gotta say, and I'm like I'm on the record. So I was not a fan of Andor, right? I know a lot of people like it, which is cool. I enjoyed two out of the 12 episodes in the fourth credit scene. And mm-hmm. B2, I love B2. That's it. So I wasn't a fan, it wasn't for me. But, yeah. like, the teaser we got, it looked a lot better than the first season. So I'm a little bit more <sighs> optimistic. At first, I'm like, I'm not even going to watch it. But I'm going to watch the hell out of it, and I'm going to react the hell out of it, too. And if I don't like it, like, people are going to know. But, like... Yeah, get I'm toxic. A, I'm a, no, no, no. I'm just going to be toxic. I'm just going to be yeah. honest for real. Like, right. But I I think it, it looked better. So, I mean, we'll I see. Mean... We'll see. We'll see. I hope so, man. But at the at the same time, like, listen, Andor already had the thing going against it, right? That we know where it's heading, which was fine, which was yeah, fine. You can still fine, work yeah. with that. But I just cannot get over the fact that season one was so, in my opinion, I know people like it, so I get it. You can feel free to like whatever you want. You want to like yeah. Ray, the sequels, by all means, not a hater. In my opinion, I'm watching this show and I'm so goddamn bored. And I feel like I'm not yeah. even watching a Star Wars show. And this is yeah. where I'm going to give the sequels a little bit of credit, which is saying a lot because I'm not a fan. But at yeah. least I felt like I was watching yep. Star Wars. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It just Even though the story wasn't for me, it was clearly like, oh, this is a Star Wars project. I did not feel that sense at all. And when you don't have that sense, and my dog's barking, I apologize. When you don't have that sense of this feels like Star Wars, well, then what are we watching? Yeah. So, like, I don't know how to feel about season two. I'm... Gonna give it a shot, but I'm not excited about it in the least. So to end on a gooder note, better note, good note, whatever the English is, we'll go good. There, there's there's two more there's two more <laughs> things I forgot. So Vision season two, did you see that trailer? Yes. That looks. I, well, I, watched, so, I looks, will say though, I watched it at like eight thirty a.m. and I had like one eye open, so I should probably go rewatch it. But <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Like a, a, a couple of them look like wow. A couple yeah. of them look like. Uh, okay, like not for me, but I'll watch it. And they actually showed us a full episode, so we saw one of the oh, episodes. Cool. When does that come out again? That's May fourth, right? Fourth. All of them nice. dropped May fourth, so we nice. saw one of them, the complete episode, and it gave me kind of like a Pixar, Toy Story, like one of those vibes, like Despicable Me type vibe. That's cool. It was it was fine, but the one that I'm looking forward to is the Sith. It's called the Sith, and it's the one in the beginning that kind of looks like Malgus. And he has the red saber and he's dragging it. Nice. Yeah. So that Visions 2 looks promising. I mean, I'm pretty sure like four or five of them will be fire. And then the rest will kind of be like, okay, cool. Yeah. Interesting, but different. They're worth watching. Like they're just yeah. there. They're there. They're for fun. So yeah. and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't. It's one of those harmless projects. So I don't care. Yeah. I'm definitely like, I'm down for it. 
And then the other one, and I wasn't in the panel when they announced it. I think I was just lurking on the floor. Yeah. But we're, we're getting Tales of the Jedi Season 2, yes. which that's going to hit so hard. Dude. Because the um, first, yeah. I'm so I'm much looking hype. forward to that. Like, that, those six episodes. It was six, right? Yeah, it was six episodes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like, dare I say... And maybe I would have felt differently, but I don't know, to keep ragging on it. But again, after just looking at Mando overall now, this is Tales of the Jedi. Those six episodes are probably my favorite thing Disney has put out. Uh, so, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to a season two. We don't even know specifically who they'll be about yet. Like we had Cal yeah. and Ahsoka for, you know, the, the first uh, first season. So I don't know. No. If, I doubt it'll be, just be more of them, too. So I assume we'll get two different characters this time. What? And have fun. Pick your poison. So What if we get Anakin and, like, what if it's one of the persons is Anakin and we get to see him with Obi-Wan in between episode one and two? Dude, like, that is literally be sick. The, that's um, what they did with this. Basically. Was there, did they say this was going to be more episodes or was this still six seasons? Did I, why like, did I oh. feel like I heard somebody say it was going to be more than six episodes? I, I didn't hear that. I, I mean, I wasn't in there, and I don't know if there's anything online about it. Uh, I might be wrong, but I'm not I'm not exactly sure. But, dude, that would be a great idea. If yeah, they don't plan on doing a whole project just... eventually. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I think there was more positive announcements that came out of Celebration. But, again, we've sure. had in the past where we got it, and they didn't follow through. So, Still waiting on my Lando show over here. Not, not really. Yeah. I'm good with my Lando show. No, that, <laughs> that means that means we get Maul and Kira. Touche. I haven't thought yeah. about it in a while. No, th- that's uh, yeah. That means there's Maul and Kira in the background lurking. I, I guess that you know that that show might be a lot of uh, what uh, Solo Two might have been. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they didn't mention a damn Dude, thing. About just that, listen. So. Just give me more Tales of the Jedi. Do like eight episodes instead of six. Then give me Tales of the Sith, Tales of the Bounty Hunter. Like, just do little Tales seasons like that once yeah. a year with like yeah. six, eight episodes, and I'll be happy at this yeah. point. Because it's all just like bonus Clone Wars and stuff like that anyway. So, no, just give me more sure. of that. So, that was the last thing I have. So, what do you have coming up next on your channel that the people could look forward to? Honestly, man, like, as we were saying earlier, besides just re uploading all that past content, like, I know Survivor, what's the date for Survivor? 28th. 25th? 28th is there early access on that tuesday like a lot of games have if you buy it for pre-order mm, regardless if there know, is maybe. i'm not sure but point is when that comes out i'll definitely be streaming it um, yep. i'm sure i'm gonna suck at it which is gonna make for funny streams so <laughs> you can stay tuned for the to the rogue nation youtube channel i'll be streaming jedi survivor when that comes out and then besides that like once i get all this uh past content re-uploaded uh I don't, i'm really not sure what's next i'm not collecting too much at the moment and that's a lot of what the content has been but, I mean, I might do, like, a whole Mando wrap-up next week and just give my overall thoughts on the, the season. We'll see. Yeah. But I'm just kind of going with the flow with the, with the channel, honestly. But definitely stay tuned to that. And, of course, just stay tuned to Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, at Noanation Vlogs for a sneak peek, if you will, at all of my content, whether that's nice. Rogue Nation Gaming or my wrestling channel. All right. So, guys, check him out. I'm going to put his this link in the description below. Definitely check them out and subscribe. But again, thank you, Noah, for coming on. Appreciate your time, my guy. Happy to redeem myself. Yeah, for (laughs) sure. Full full audio. Full audio. Yes. I'll actually watch this one back this time. Yeah. (laughs) I was like, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. I watched like five Uh, minutes and I was embarrassed for myself. Damn. And that's going (laughs) to be it for this episode of Sif Talk. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. (laughs)